What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a dope meta team slash off meta team. You guys will see in a second. We're rocking out with a Groudon Drought team that features Charizard and Venusaur, obviously, but then the off meta part is going to be both. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time, so I'll give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to mention yet again in another one of my videos that your boy is doing a giveaway. About three days left in the giveaway for a free $20 eShop gift card. Only takes about five seconds to join it. All you got to do is head down to the link in the description below, type in your email, type in your name, and boom, there you guys go. You guys are entered in the contest. So then you guys can do like multiple different things to actually get multiple different entries in there, like following me here, following SCG, Short Circuit Gaming over on Twitter, following them on YouTube. There's just a bunch of different ways. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, it only takes two seconds of you guys' time to enter. Link is down in the description below. But let's get started here with today's team preview, rocking out with the Groudon in that top left corner. We got Drought and that White Herb as its item, rocking Precipice Blades for stab, fire punch, and rock slide for a coverage move. And last but not least, we have Protect. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Support Indeedy. Do I really have to say anything about this Pokemon? Psychic Surge, Psychic Seeds, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Protect. Really can't go wrong with this support moveset. Works well on any single team. Middle left is going to be Shadow Rider Calvary. And this Pokemon is so strong. So, so strong with the As One ability. Rocking out with the Focus Sash uh, as his item. And then we got Protect, Expanding Force to pair up with that Psychic Surge. Energy Ball for our coverage move. And then last but not least, we have to have Astro Barrage on Shadow Rider Calvary as it is his best move that he actually learns. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Bolton. Nice little off meta Pokemon who I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with. We got Competitive as its ability, and then we got Choice Scarf as item. We got Nuzzle for Paralyzes, Electrify to actually turn opponent's move to Electric, so maybe, just maybe, we can now have some fun with that one and change uh, people's moves to Electric and have them hit Groudon, so it won't affect them. I feel like that's why it's here. And then we got Eerie Impulse for Special Attack Drop, and then Volt Switch to Pivot Out. So really liking Bolton. I think he's gonna be fun to use, and uh. Hopefully we get to get some wins with it, you know? Because, like, we never use them on the rank ladder. I don't think I've ever seen a Bolton on the rank ladder, besides, like, maybe, like, Season 1. <laughs> Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our big old attacker right here. We got Charizard with Solar Power and Shardy Berry. Rocket Blast, Burn, Hurricane, Protect, and Solar Beam. Best move set for Charizard right there. Final Pokemon is another heavy attacker in the drought. We got Venusaur with Cooler Field to double its speed in the sun. Life Orb as item. And then we got Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, and Earth Power. Sleep Powder and Earth Power for his final move. Guys, there's a team preview. If you guys want to run it yourself, the route code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Bolton Drought team. First battle coming at you guys, and your boy is feeling great today. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to grab ourselves a winning record in the ranked ladder today. We're going up against a Kai Ogre and Shadow Rider Calyrex team, alongside with Rillaboom, Landorus with Intimidate, P2 for Trick Room, and you know, being P2, and then he has Grimstar for his final mod for support. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play? Groudon's definitely going to have to be a back-end Pokemon for sure. Just to kind of counter up on that weather and so we can win the weather war. So Groudon, you're 100% coming in here. We could also rock Venusaur as lead. Venusaur's not too shabby here. Or we can go Charizard. Nice little Charizard lead. A lovely little Charizard lead. But I feel like Venusaur will be a bit better just in case he wants to lead that, uh, that what's it called? What is it? That Kyogre. So, you know, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here. Calyrex, and then I'm going to bring my lovely Groudon in the back end. And then last but not least, so I just bring Charizard. I mean, a bunch of special attackers would be great here. Bunch of lovely special attackers. Where do we go in with Bolton for our final Pokemon? But that Choice Scarf could be pretty solid for us. Hmm. Nah, I'm, I'm liking Charizard a bit more. I am digging Charizard a bit more. We just have to win the Weather War, you know? We just have to win this Weather War. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Number one. But, yo, look at your boy's face. I'm peeling, man. And I'm so red. I am so red. But, yo, Tan is going to be coming in within the week. And I'm going to be feeling good. We're looking good. Everything's going to be spicy. Before battle number one starts, you guys know the deal for question of the day. Answer it in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited for the new Mario Strikers game? Comes out this Friday, and I am I'm head over heels for it, dude. I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for it. Mario Strikers so it was one of my favorite games on the GameCube and favorite games on the Wii, so I'm going to be doing a lot of content over here and over on my Twitch page uh, doing some, uh, what is it, online ranked battles because there is a ranked mode there. So I'm going to be having fun with that game, so hopefully you guys are excited, and hopefully you guys enjoy that content. But uh, he's going to end up leading Lando and Grimstorm, which I'm totally cool with. I am totally cool with because I outspeed a lot of these guys. I could. I could indeed just go into a straight sleep powder because he might Dynamax his Pokemon. So, you know, I am going to sleep powder that thing. And I'm just going to drop a lovely Astro Barrage and chip up some damage. Chip up some damage. Then go for a straight Thunder Wave. So he's going to Thunder Wave me. That's, that's fine. We still have our Focus Dash. I'm cool with that turn. 
I am fine with that turn. I don't mind it. You're not minding. Sleep Passion come in here, and of course, uh, we miss it. We miss it. What a way to start off today's video. What a way to start off today's video with a big fat miss. But so we're going to pop an Astro Barrage onto uh, Lando and deal a ridiculous amount of damage, which is huge. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's going to set up a Stealth Rocks. In doubles? Okay. I feel you. I do have Charizard in the back end, so I feel like Ground's going to have to be a Dynamax mod. Unless we just straight up Dynamax our uh, Venus right here, which wouldn't be bad. But I think he's going to Thunder Wave me, right? He's definitely going to Thunder Wave me, right? I'm going to save my Dynamax. I'm going to save my Dynamax. Drop an Astro Barrage. Go into a Sludge Bomb. See what he does here. He's just going to protect the land out. That's totally fine. And are you dropping a Thunder Wave? Like, what are you doing with Grimmy here? You're going to Sucker Punch me. How dare you? How dare you? That's a smart play. Sucker punches me for first turn priority, and we're going to focus Ash up. So, we I think we do take out this Grimstar here, which is huge. Then we kind of roll off from there. So, solid protect from him. Grimstar is going to drop out, and we're going to roll from here. I think I might Dynamax a... I might Dynamax a Venusaur here. I might Dynamax a Venusaur. It really depends if he goes out into... We really don't want to go into a... Ground on until his Kyogre comes out on the field. So, I don't know. I think we're going to wait this one out. If he goes Kyogre here, we'll definitely hard swap. In the ground. I don't know if he's going to do it. We shall see. He's going to go into Calyrex of his own. So, Cali Cali's going to come out here. Um, We got to wait a little bit. We got to wait a hot second. We have to wait a hot second. We have to force his Kyogre out. We have to force his Kyogre out. So, I feel like doubling down into uh, Lando here is our play. So, I'm just going to Astro Barrage. Yeah, Astro Barrage into a lovely little... Uh, a lovely little Sludge Bomb. But I still feel like he picks up that double kill easily here. Right? Oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough, tough. Because if he picks up double kill here, he's going to have weather. At this point, it's going to be tough for us. We need weather. I mean, I could drop a rock. You know, withdraw. Okay, he withdraws land. That's actually better for us. He withdraws land and he pulls out the Kyogre. That works better for us. It does work a little bit better for us. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's see what he does. What's his play here? Astro Barrage? Just drop, right? Yeah, Astro Barrage. Can you eat this off, Venusaur? Man, imagine if I would have went into Leaf Storm. Venusaur should be able to soak this, right? Yeah, Venusaur soaks all day. Kylex is going to drop out here. He still has Dynamax. Um, I'm going to have to roll into my my squad after this. And I'm going to take speed, though. I'm going to take speed, which is going to be lovely. I'm going to take some lovely little speed here. Sludge Bomb's going to poke. Uh, send it this way. And we chip up some damage. Oh, and we get the poison. We love that. That's some solid damage. That's some solid damage. So do I bring our Groudon here? Oh, right, yeah. I have to bring our Groudon. Forces swap with the Lando, right? Probably a playable White Herb out. We'll kind of go from there. We shall go from there. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to save my Dynamax for my Charizard. I feel, I feel like that's just my best bet, right? I just feel like that's that's easily my best bet is just to save my Dynamax for my Charizard. We're going to change up the weather. He's going to swap into Lando here 100%. And I could swap back. I could definitely dip back. I could definitely dip back. Could be my play. But I think from here, we're going to have to go after his Calyrex. And then go into... We could go into a Blaze, but I think Rock Slide's going to be our play. Just in case he wants to swap into Lando, we can pick up the KO that way. I do like it. I do like it. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Wait, he has to swap that Kyogre. Yeah. I was going to swap Groudon here, but I feel like our play is fine. I'm going to swap into Lando. And I think my Groudon should be able to soak up whenever he has to offer. White Herb's going to come out here and help us out tremendously. And what do I do from here? I think is eating up a berry. Where the heck does this thing get a berry from? I'm, I'm so confused. Where did he, he get a citrus berry from? What is going on? Wait a minute. Where did this thing get a citrus berry? What just happened? How did this Lando poke in here and, and grab a citrus berry? Wouldn't it have already triggered a citrus berry? I'm so confused. Why did that, that thing eat a citrus berry like years before this? I'm a little confused, but he down to Max's Calyrex. That's fine. And what's he going to go for here? Oh, we could have sleep powder. That could be enormous. Leaf Storm's going to poke out here. Chip up some damage. Uh, and what is he going to go for? Is he going to take out my Venusaur? Gonna take out my Venusaur. Gonna go for a Phantasm. I think that takes out my Venusaur, right? No, he goes after Groudon. Groudon should be able to soak it. Oh, it doesn't. That's ugly. Do not soak. That's tough news. But the thing is, we still have Drought. We still have Drought, and I feel like Venusaur just outspeeds. I don't know if he's gonna change up the weather. He might. He might change up the weather, but Grimnate is boosted. That's why I forgot about the Grimnate boost. That is scary. We're gonna have to go into you. Um, we're gonna have to go for a Sleep Powder here. I could protect and Sleep Powder if I want to, just in case of swap. But, oh my god, that Stealth Rocks did me so dirty. That Stealth Rocks just did me so dirty. I'm going to have to go for a Sleep Powder here. 
and then Dynamax to protect. Oh my god, yo, that's Stealth Rocks from like years ago. Did me so dirty. That did me so dirty. So my plan here is to block the shot from uh to just block the shot from what's it called? From Calyrex and put it to sleep and then kind of go from there. That is my play. But we'll see what happens. We shall see. Because this is tough. He might hard swap just to get weather, but I feel like we should be fine even if he hard swaps for weather. But I feel like he's going after Charizard. Dude, that rocks in half my health. Half of it. Half of it. So we guard here. I have to guess the Phantasm is coming in hot here. He's going to end up protecting Lando. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Guard for my Charizard, please. Guard for my Charizard. Oh, we outspeed. Thank you very much. We put this thing to sleep. Okay. So now we got this thing to sleep. Oh, uh, we got a bit of speed on our side. We do have some speed on our side. And we still have weather. So our power is going to chip. But uh, from here, we're going to need to take some more speed. But I feel like from here, we're just going to have to leaf storm this slot. In case he wants to swap out. And then do we wildfire? Or do we take a bit more speed here? Because airstream... Oh, dude, wildfires. We're going to have to wildfire this slot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to wildfire this slot. Oh, we have Calyx. That's big. That's big. Yo, where does this thing get the citrus berry? I'm still a little confused on that. What? Yo, what? What is this? What is this? Get out my face. That just lost us the game. That just lost us. What? One turn sleep just lost us the game. Get out my face with that. Seriously, yo, out of here. Get him out of here. I'm done with this game. One turn sleep just did us so dirty. Did us so dirty. You couldn't have been asleep for another turn? Not for one more turn. Not for one more turn. That is wild. That is wild. That is wild. Because this Calyrex should be dead. This Calyrex should be dead. And I feel like Charizard would be able to outspeed this, uh... This, what's it called? This Kyogre. I can't, I'm kind of curious to see, but I, I don't even think, think we're going to see. I don't even think we're going to see. That is wild. That is wild. That That is just... That, that blows my mind. That blows my mind. He really woke up like that and just guarded. He really woke up like that and guarded. And we're going to lose battle number one. Yo, I'm telling you, I have a battle number one curse. That is ridiculous. Thing just woke up, no problem. If it was me, it would have been slept for the whole battle. Astrobot's gonna poke out here. That's gonna be GG's, right? Yeah, easy double kill for him. Get out my face with that. Oh, one one for today's video. You guys know we're hopping into our second battle, and we're gonna grab ourselves our first win. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that Shadow Rider Calyrex woke up in one turn. Really ruined my mojo. Really ruined my mojo, but hey, we're here in battle number two. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex and Palkia team, and we're grabbing ourselves a win here in battle number two. No excuses here. We're winning this battle right here, right now. He's got the Calyrex. He's got the Palkia alongside P2, Incineroar. What is that? Thunders and then Grimstone. So heavy Trick Room team. How are we going to go into this one? How are we going to play it? We could go in the Bolt on turn one. I don't lean towards Bolt on because if he wants to go Palkia, I could just, you know, Eerie Impulse and kind of roll up from there. Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. Could go here. I could go uh, Groudon for turn one. Or I could just lead Weather. Weather's not bad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, we could go Weather. We could definitely rock Weather. But he might go Incineroar. That's my problem. He might go Incineroar, which, which is no bueno. We do not like Incineroar. Um, I kind of want to go Weather, right? Groudon into Venu. Venu Sword. And then Calyrex in the back end. And then have Charizard or maybe Bolton just roll out in the back. I don't like Bolton. I'm kind of digging Bolton. It's for eerie impulse purposes, but still. Ah, uh, Charizard's going to be a little bit better. Dude, dig me some Char. Let's go Char. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Oh, dude, I hate trick room teams, man. I hate them. I hate them. I don't mind using them. I hate going up against them. Going up against them is the worst. Especially when you have a team that can't counter trick room. You're kind of just sitting there at that point. You're just like, dude, he's going to pop trick room. And he's going to steamroll me with this ice horse. And Palkia. Palkia is great in trick room. Palkia is great. But let's see who he leads. Hopefully he's not leading Incineroar. He is leading Incineroar, of course. P2 and Incineroar. He's gonna fake me out. He's kinda gonna roll off from there. Uh bump bump bump. Uh bump bump bump. So Trick Room is going to be like a guarantee for him. If he fakes out Venusaur, I'm gonna try to put the P2 to sleep, but uh we shall see. We shall see. God dang it. Intimidate's gonna come out here. We are white herb though. We are herbed up. We are urban it up. This thing's gonna download. It's gonna download. There's no bueno. So fake out is right. Oh my god. Why didn't we lead the what's it called? Why didn't we lead the Indeedy? Why didn't we lead the Indeedy? So now we're gonna have to rely on this. Going for a nice little fake out. He's probably gonna fake out my Venusaur. Hopefully he fakes out my uh, Groudon. Maybe he just doesn't fake out at all. So if we can put this P2 to sleep and allow Trick Room not to happen, that could be big. 
But I should have I should have thought about it a little bit more. I should have popped in Didi and went out from there. He's gonna fake out my Venusaur, obviously. Yeah, it's a little tough for us. Blade's gonna fly here. He's gonna get off. Of Trickrim's gonna be out and about. We might take out this Incineroar. No, we don't. We don't need to take out the Incineroar. We just do a ridiculous amount of damage. So, so we're gonna trigger Barry. He's gonna pop Trickrim. That's a little. That's a little tough for us. That's a little tough for us. I could Dynamax and there's Trickrim. So Trickrim's out and about. He's probably gonna stay in here. Maybe hard swap. I don't think he's gonna hard swap. He could party shot. I am still going to go for another Blades, and I am going to put the P2 to sleep. I'm going to put the P2 to sleep. What's called called? Iskaram, Mio. He's probably going to hard swap that, uh, that Incineroar. Let's see. No, he's going to drop an Ice Beam. So Ice Beam's going to come in hot. We should be able to suck this up, no problem. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. 4 HP. I'll take it all day. And he's just going to party shot. He's going to party shot out here. He's going to go, man, dude, I should have put that slot to sleep. I knew it. I knew the Incineroar was probably swapping. That could have been big for us. It could have been huge for us. Could have been huge for us. Okay. I see how this dude's rocking. I still have my uh my focus ash on my calorie, which could be good. Could work wonders. But yeah, we're gonna put the P2 to sleep. Hopefully it connects. And then we can kinda go from there. We shall see. He's gonna go into Ice Rider Calyx, right? No, he's gonna go into this. Okay. The blade's gonna come out here. He's gonna dodge it with that. That's a smart little swap. I'm fine with that. I'm actually fine with that. The reason I say I'm fine with that is because like he's sitting here with a, uh, he's sitting here with a uh, trick and turns. He's just wasting them out at this point. So we have you slumped. It's gorgeous. You are slumped. I'm gonna drop a rock slide. He might dynamax that Pokemon. I'm gonna try to put him to sleep too, right? I'm just gonna waste out these trick and turns. I'm still have my ground on full HP. It's minus one. He might swap back into Incineroar here. Incineroar might get the swap back here. We can waste if we can waste out these trick room turns, I feel like we should be fine with our back end Pokemon, like Calyx and Charizard. Right? It does sound good. It does sound good. We are slowly wasting out these turns. Are slowly wasting out these turns. Let's see what he does. He's gonna end up with Draw on P2. And who's he gonna roll into here? Palkia. He doesn't even have the Cali. Okay, so he's not even rocking with the Cali. He's not even rocking with the Cali. And he's gonna end up Dynamaxing this Pokemon. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. And I don't, I don't see him going after my Venusaur, right? Do we see this guy going after my Venusaur? Actually, maybe. Like, Venusaur's on 4 HP. And usually, I, like me, I wouldn't waste a turn on a 4 HP Pokemon. So maybe we might be able to get this thing to sleep. That could be huge. That could be huge. Let's see what he does. Rock Sight's gonna come out here. I'll eat, send it that way. Chip it up some damage. Get some nice chip damage here. And he's gonna go for Darkness. Go into Groudon, please. He does go in the ground. Oh my god, we love it. We love it. We, yo, Venusaur, I need you here. Land this. Land this sleep powder. Just land it. Yo, just land it. Come on, Venusaur. I got faith in you, dude. My dude. My dude land the sleep powder. We love it. We love it. We love it. But uh, one thing we got to watch out for is uh, those one-turn sleeps. Those one-turn sleeps are definitely scary. So from here, I might hard swap you. What's Palkia really going to do? Going to Cali. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? Let me let me let me weigh out my options here. Two turns left in Trick Room. We have to start dealing some damage over onto uh over onto that Palkia. Would Fire Punch do more damage? Yeah, I think Fire Punch probably our best bet. Higher accuracy. Nah, we're just gonna go for we're just gonna go for Blades here. Blades, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for a Leaf Storm here. I gotta get off as much damage as I can onto this Palkia. See what he does. He's gonna spatial rend me. That's fine. He spatial rends up. What's called is gonna go next. My Groudon. Like I said, we're wasting out these trick and turns rather well. We're wasting out these trick and turns rather well. Blade's gonna come through here. Doesn't affect him, but we do get like, we connect him on the Palkia, which is solid. So Palkia's gonna take some damage. Uh, there is one more turn left in Trick Room. One more turn left in Trick Room, and I could go into Calyrex. But I feel like Charizard. I feel like we should just Dynamax this guy and get after it, right? Do we Dynamax? Or do we guard? Do we, do we guard? We could we could protect this thing. We could protect Charizard and Dynamax next turn when Trick Room ends. Yeah, I'm gonna slide here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna protect him. I'm just gonna protect him this turn. I am just gonna protect my Charizard. Waste out this last turn Trick Room and then get after the battle. Okay. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't have Ice Rider Calyx. We know his back end Pokemon is P2, who's asleep, and Incineroar. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. See, this one plays out. Protect coming in hot. I'll eat. Send it this way. 
And then he's going to roll into what? He's going to roll into a Hydro Pump. And he reads me. He reads to protect. And Ky uh, Groudon might be able to eat this up, right? You don't. Ouch. That's rough. That is rough. That's rough, rough, rough. Hopefully this thing's still asleep, right? Is he still going to be asleep? That could be huge for us. Yes. Okay, cool. We still asleep. Uh, we can roll into Calyrex. And turns are over. Turns are over making Calyrex the fastest on the field. That's that's big. That's big. That's actually a perfect time for this. Even though we only have two Pokemon left. Calyrex should easily be able to do some big damage. We can set Wildfire. We can take a little bit of speed here. I think we're sitting in such a good spot. Because once we Dynamax Charizard, you can't fake out my Calyrex or my Charizard. That's good. That is good for us. We do dig it. I'm trying to think of like things he could do to kind of like win this battle. But I feel like we have this battle kind of locked down. Right? I feel like I feel like this battle is kind of locking down for us. So Astro Barrage should be able to take out Palkia, no problem. Chip up some damage on that slot. And then we can just go into a Wildfire, or do we take a bit, a bit speedier? I think we set up the Wildfire damage. Actually, no, I want a little bit... Uh, uh, what do I want to do? No, you know, we're trying to set up the Wildfire damage. That's our best bet. Because once we get rid of these po Pokemon, we know Instant War and P2 cannot outspeed us. So we're Dynamaxing. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. His Dynamax is over. We had a great, we had great countering on his Dynamax end. Great countering on his, his Dynamax end. And waiting out the trick him. Worked out perfectly. Venusaur definitely came in clutch this battle. Definitely came in clutch. Surprised that Hydro Pump did as much damage as it did. But it is Life Orb and Stab. Even in the drought. It's still doing a decent amount of damage. We're going to be able to drop an Astro Brush here. And I think Palkia is gone. Right? Palkia, get on out my game. We have to take out Palkia here if we want to win. Cool. Palkia is dead. Get him on out of here. We got ourselves a Grim Nade boost. Hopefully Charizard goes next, and Charizard can just take out this uh this Thunders. It should be GG's, right? Yep. But now all he has left is Incineroar and P2. Intimidate's gonna come out here and do nothing to us because we're both special attackers. Can't fake out my Charizard because we're G-Max. Cannot fake out my Calyrex because uh, we're Ghost type. And that's that's it's over with. It's over with. We're Grim Nade boost. I'm just gonna start dropping Astro Barrages. I'm just gonna start dropping Wildfires. Just ripping it. That's GG's. That is GG's. Like I said, guys, yo, I promise you guys, victory in battle number two. I prevailed. We got you guys. I'm going to try to make, make ourselves get a winning record in battle number three. But we're sitting in such a good spot. Look at that low HP. Get these boys on out of here. I think my Calyx is just going to be able to Astro Barrage and finish. Right? Right? Astro Barrage should be able to do the work. He's going to download again. He's downloading. Getting that special or just that attack boost. Um, cool. So, we could Astro Barrage. Actually, it has no effect. Ooh, I totally forgot about that. Where I want going? I mean, P2 slumped. P2 is slump, but still, I just feel like we go into this. And then we just airstream here. We have the solar power rolling strong. We should be fine. We should be fine. Just cancel the battle. He does not cancel the battle. Spain and Force gonna fly here. Uh, eat, send it. Later, P2. Little glass duck. All slumped. Oh, he survives on one. He survives on one. <laughs> airstream comes out here. We take out Incineroar. So what is what is what is glass duck gonna do? Pop a trick room? What are you really gonna do? You pop a trick room, then we still have our focus hatch. It, it's over with. I didn't even set up the wildfire. I should have wildfired up. Off fire would have been a play, but uh, yeah, glass duck is still slumped, and that's GG's. That is GG's. Oh, I did set up the wildfire. When did I do the wildfire, I did it last turn. I did it last turn. So wildfire was there, cleans up the the mess. We grab ourselves the win. Let's grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three. We're going up against a pretty cool team with a lot of meta Pokemon: Zacian, Groudon, alongside with Incineroar, Rillaboom, Regilecki, and then Galarian Zapdos, who I always love. Such cool Pokemon, really good in the Dynamax form. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like Bolton, we have to showcase here. Let's get Bolton out here in battle number one. So I'm going to lead Bolton. I think I'm going to lead Calyrex on the long side with that. He's definitely got to lead a fake out one, which is a little scary for me, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to go Bolton. And then uh, Groudon? Yeah, Groudon and Ch -ch -ch Charizard. Charizard, right? We go Charizard or do we go Venus? Oh, we don't even need. Do we even need Groudon? I think he's going to bring the weather, right? I mean, we can just go Charizard, Venus, and have double weather squad. We could roll out with that. That isn't too shabby, but I do like Groudon, especially up against this. Zacian, and he does a lot of work up against a lot of different Pokemon. So I'm going to go there. I think I'm going to go Charizard. That's my final mod as well. But yeah, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But uh, maybe I should have led the Indeedee and Calor. But I, I really want Bolton out here. I really, I just want Bolton, dude. I just want to use use me some Bolton, dude. Bolton's too good. He's too, he's too fun to use. So... Let's see what he's going to do. I think we're just going to start taking speed control and Pokemon left and right with him. He's going to lead Incineroar. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Let's see what he goes into. Okay, he goes into these two. I'm cool with that. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down this uh, Zacian by just nuzzling it. Why you drop a nice, beautiful Nuzzy? Just nuzzle, nuzzle buzzle it up. Because we are going to be fast on the field with the Choice Scar. So if I, can, if I can nuzzle that thing, I'll slow it down. And then uh, I think he's going to Dynamax the bird. Maybe go into an Airstream. 
I mean, kind of, we could do pretty good here. So I'm just going to nuzzle. And then I could go, I could, I could, which I think I am going to do. Expanded force this thing. Right, it is stab. 80 power. Woo. Run it. Run it. Run it, run it, run it. Run it. Because I think he's going to Dynamax that Pokemon, right? He protects turn one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What's the bird going for? That's the real question. What is the bird going for? A throw chop. Okay, we're Sash. That's fine. That's fine. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. I like this turn. I don't mind it. Sash is going to do what's good. Now going to get blocked. I still have both of them for the next couple turns. It's wonderful. And then Expanded Force should just double on this, right? This ain't night-night to you. Later, Skater. Get him on out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we pick up a big-time KO, yo. That's why Focus Sash is so, so, so good on him. So now we're Grim Nate boosted. He is fast on the field. He can do some big old damage. Some big old damage. I wonder who he's going to go into here. I wonder who he's going to roll out into. Anybody with first turn priority moves? Incineroar. They fake me out. But still, yo, we can do some nice damage here. Repetitive's going to trigger too. Ooh, now, now we're supposed to throw at Bolton. Um, so he's probably going to fake out Bolton. Which is totally fine. I could hard swap Bolton. But uh, I think we stay in here and we just go here. Then we just drop an Astro Barrage, right? I think I don't think Zassian can really, really fare too well with this. A plus one. I'm I'm digging. I'm digging. He might have to Dynamax and Cinnor here. He does nice. He's gonna fake out Bolton. So he's gonna fake out Bolton. What's called my Calyrex is gonna go next. Calyrex. I think Calyrex might be able to take out Zassian here. This could be powerful. It should be huge for us. Let's see. Make it happen. No, he does not. He does not. Able to soak. He's gonna go for Blade. Who are you taking out here? That's the real question. You gotta be taking out my Cali, right? You gotta be taking out Cali, right? Yeah, so Cali's gonna drop out here. Um, at this point, I think we just nuzzle and blades, right? Nuzzle and blades sound beautiful. Nuzzle and blades sound gorgeous. We'll set the weather too and save Charizard for back end Dynamax. Sounds like a solid turn for me. Sounds like a solid turn for me, right? Because we nuzzle that thing. We nuzzle Zass in here. Groudon should be faster than everybody else. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Who does he have in the back end? That's a real question. What Pokemon is he riding in with the back end? Let's see. Probably the other Groudon. Probably the other Groudon. I'm still going to have to do this turn. I still, I still like this turn. Even if he swaps into Groudon here, it's fine. Yeah, he's going to withdraw Incineroar. Okay, so Incineroar gets to withdraw. I'm, I like that even better. He's going to go into Groudon of his own. Okay. I nuzzle up on you. Slow you down. We're slowed now. And now we can roll into a free blade. Take out Zassi, no problem. Chip up damage on that Groudon. Chip up damage on that Groudon, which is gorgeous. So he's probably going to Dynamax that, uh, that Groudon next turn. He might fake me out. Um, do I Dynamax Groudon of my own here? I might have to. This does sound better, Dynamaxing my own Groudon. He's going to trigger my Herb here. My Herby Herb. I think I might Dynamax my Groudon. I'm leaning towards it, right? I'm leaning towards it. Kind of lean towards Dynamax and Sprout on here. Over to Charizard. Just so, it does sound a little bit better because he's gonna Dynamax his own Groudon. But yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Dynamax and do I Quake? Do I Flare? I think I just get rid of this Incineroar, right? And then bring out Charizard next turn, which I could just like. Sword on. But yeah, I'm gonna Dynamax my Groudon. It's my best bet. This is my best bet. Yeah, I, I like this. I like this. Because he has to Dynamax. He has to Dynamax the Groudon. So if I can counter his Dynamax Groudon with my Dynamax Groudon and just have Charizard coming in the back end, maybe drop a Solar Beam, do some big damage. Because I'm going to turn this into like a 2v1, 3v1 situation. And I think we should be thriving. Winning record on the way. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. My desk is wood. My desk is wood. <laughs> but yeah, he's Dynamax his Groudon. All day, every day. And I'm Dynamax and mine as well. So it's definitely better than Dynamax and Charizard. Because, you know, Charizard can get absolutely dumped on by a Groudon. All day long. So, I'd rather just, just play it safe. I'd rather just play it safe. You know, Charizard. He would be lovely. Let's see his dude's play. Because I think he's going to go for a Max Quake here as well. Grab that special defense boost. Onto the Bolton. But Incineroar's dead all day today. All day this turn. I just nuzzled it just to do it. But, uh, I think he's going to fake me out. Wait. Hopefully he goes to, fakes out the Groudon slot. Bolton, actually, Bolton can electrify. No, we, oh, dude, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I electrify? Why didn't I electrify? I'm gonna do that next turn. 
Let's see what he does here. Let's see his play. He's gonna go for a quake. Go on the ground. Go on the ground. Leave my Bolton alone. Wow, yo, I could electrify this one. Oh, he does go on my ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, we can't electrify anymore. We're choice. Dang it, dude. Now would have been a perfect time. I could swap Bolton, but uh, we're fine. Max Quake's gonna come in here. Oh, this thing's shooken. He's shooken. Can we still KO? I think we should still be able to KO, right? He's low health. Should be done. Cool. So we take him out, dude. Oh, dude. If we had our Electrify right now, that could work wonders because we can change any move. What Electrify does for Bolton, if you guys don't know, it changes any move that the opponent's gonna use to Electric. So if we would have electrified him, that Max Quake would have turned into a Max Lightning and it wouldn't affect my Groudon. That would have been power move. That would have been power move. But we're sitting here. Uh, I think what we have to do is swap him, right? Actually, no. I'm going to keep him in here. I'd rather him just die, you know? I'd rather him just die. I'd rather him just die, you know? I don't want to... I don't... Actually, no. We can hard swap him into Charizard because if he's going to attack him, he's going to Quake. He's going to Quake, so... He's gonna go in. <gasps> okay, cancel battle. Okay, I thought I swapped my I swapped my ground on. <laughs> I did swap my ground on, but we take it all day. Thank God our last opponent canceled that battle because on accident I swapped my ground on into Charizard. So that could have been bad, could have been good. I don't even know. But our opponent canceled battle and we take a two and one record for today's video. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.